you so much. Um, I'm going to do a reading. I was asked to do a speech, but I don't know how I can articulate how my heart feels at the moment. And when we are told that this is a march of hate, all I see is love. I see 750,000 people full of love. This is a cry for love. This is a cry for peace. This is a cry for ceasefire. And this is a cry for our humanity. And I'm going to read now a poem by Haid Eid, Hada Eid, who's a professor and writer from Gaza. I imagine that my ghost is standing beside the ruins of another house in Al Ramal. Al Ramal used to be a dorsal neighbourhood in Gaza City. My ghost pats one of my university students, a brilliant student, on the shoulder offering her a tissue to wipe her tears. It embraces her father and carries her little sister who weeps as she searches for their mother under the rubble. Ghosts do not cry. My ghost is an exception. This incident must be recorded as the first weeping ghost in history. My ghost sings to a pretty woman on a rock in the middle of what was once a home. A home that contained dreams, hopes and desires. My ghost wipes her tears and weeps with her. My ghost reflects on the pain of birth. My ghost goes to Nusurat refugee camp. In Nusrat, my ghost hears the cooing of a dove coming from the south, from Khan Yunus. The dove bears the story of another home. The home is a lover. She is you and you are her. There are no boundaries, no separation. When the home is demolished, something within you dies. Where is my mum? A little girl screams. Where is my dad? The girl is beside the rubble of yet another house. The rubble where the cooing dove has landed. I try to pull myself together and I fail. My shadow refuses to return to my body. On Lalat Akado, the night of destiny, my prayer was, oh God, Make me be Superman during these massacres. I ask nothing else, O oh merciful God. Make me be Superman and I will not attack any soldier.